All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Gen Con stream. Uh, we are here today to play uh, Bad Moon Rising, but with some of the older Bad Moon Rising roles. So uh, you might notice uh, on the script on the right hand side of the screen, we have, I feel like I'm running a train or something, like out the, out the right hand window, we have an old sailor. Um, the <laughs> and We also have an old goon. The other abilities from previous iterations of Bad Moon Rising are pretty similar um, and just have slightly less accurate wording. So I figured we'll ignore those, keep those the same, uh, but we are playing with the old sailor and the old goon. So the old sailor's ability is you cannot die. Each night, choose whether you or an arbitrary different player is drunk until dusk. So unlike the current version of the sailor where you get to pick um, a player and then the storyteller decides whether you or that player is drunk, uh, with the old version of the sailor, you just wake up and you tell the storyteller whether or not you want to be drunk. And if you say no, then the storyteller just gets to make someone else drunk. It's great. Similarly, the old goon uh, is that players that select you are drunk until dusk and then you become their alignment. So the current version of the goon, this also happens, but it stops happening after the first person that picks you. <laughs> this is not the case for the old goon. Every single person who picks the old goon is going to be drunk because of the goon and every single time the goon is picked they're going to change teams so it's absolute chaos it should be a blast uh and with that let's set up a game they're both yeah they're both crazy now you all understand why bmr was exist released the way that it was and not the way that it is uh before was before it's fine we know how to grammar um right on i let's see let's let's do let's do a setup let's this is a big game um so I think just for the sake of having to go run the TPI stream after this, it's not going to be a Zambul game. People might meta that. That's fine. Uh, let's have, let's see, do we want, do we want a Shab or a Poe? What do we think? What do we think? Um, if anyone has a preference, we could do a Puka too, but I like just ran a couple Puka games uh, when I was testing something the other day. So I think I'm leaning towards a Poe or a Shab. Again, people will probably meta that and I'm okay with it. We're also at 13 players, which means we have three minions. Um, so we get to have lots of different things. We should definitely have an outsider, I feel. And surely it is an old goon because that's just fun. Um, and a godfather. I don't care. People are going to meta that I put these both in the bag and I am fine with that. Um, let's see what else. Let's do Shab. Great done let's have a shab i love the shab uh, i ran a really fun actually i think it was a 17 player shab game at tabletop scotland this past weekend which was an absolute joy to run really fun event as well just the vibes there everyone was so friendly and excited to learn and play clock tower i think one of my favorite things was a new player who drew the saint token in one of just a nine player new player tb and she gets the token she's kind of reading the role and she looks at me and she's like so if they kill me the game ends and I'm like yeah and then she goes and then we play another game and I was like that is the attitude that I want all the time it's just the best thing so much fun um what I mean I like all these questions about BMR very serious uh, BMR characters such as the uh, preacher and choir boy yes those um fun fun BMR fact actually is that it um it was not didn't quite come out of this idea but it is in many ways um for the design for, like from a design standpoint, it is spicy trouble brewing. And I know that there are folks um, such as the good folks over in the Mozart Clock Sour server who have created indigestion brewing, which is a spicy trouble brewing with all sorts of experimental characters. Uh, but Bad Moon Rising is actually the original spicy TB. Uh, so you have things like the Godfather is the spicy librarian. The grandmother is the spicy washerwoman. Um, I'm sure you can find some other uh, familiar things on here as you look through. Uh, so yeah, lots of lots of fun there. Um, but let's let's set up this game before I run out of time. Let's have uh, yeah, let's have a DA. Um, but let's also have a pacifist. And then let's have a let's actually have a mastermind. And then we'll put in like a gossip and stuff uh, to mess with the number of kills that are happening. I think I will leave the let's see. The Godfather's not going to do much killing, but I think that's okay. And uh, let's see. The let's not have a courtier just because that might take a while. I think we're fine with a professor and a tea lady and a grandma. Yeah, that'll add more death. That's always good. And a chambermaid. 
and that's the right number of things. Let me just double check and make sure that the I'm happy with these bluffs. This is always a thing I notice. I don't know for those of you that story tell in chat if you ever experience this where you're get a get a nice setup together for Bad Moon Rising and then you look at the things that are left and you're like, oh, the evil team's gonna have a rough time bluffing some of these things. So sometimes that happens. Um, but yeah, I think this will be this will be okay because we can give. Let's actually maybe put a minstrel. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's put a minstrel in because we do have a mastermind. So I think that that, or no, let's leave it out. This is fine. I think we'll go, yeah, let's go full exorcist courtier. Or we could go innkeeper exorcist courtier. I think I'm happy with that because they might end up, I, I feel like there's just inevitably going to be a tea lady double claim and that's fine. So yeah, let's, let's stick with this and we'll go innkeeper exorcist courtier as the bluffs pass out some characters amazing uh i feel like the last time ellen sat there she was the demon um but that's fine cool got some bluffs and we are good to go this will be this will be fun i think this will be this will be a good vibe we have uh two and a half georges in the chat in the town so yeah it's gonna be great let's uh let's let's go say hi Hello, everyone. Say hi to chat. Hi. Hi to chat. Hello. Hi. I see Hello. we have grown in our number of Georges since I was last here. Uh, and on that note, uh, everyone go to sleep. It's also eerily quiet in here, just saying. <laughs> I feel like you have another plan and I don't know what it is again. <laughs> All right. Let's... Oh, it doesn't show... Oh, wait. I do want to change because I like looking at everyone. So we're just going to quickly show... Oh, my God. Do I know how to do this? Let's find out. Show cameras during night phase. Uh, great, so now I can see you all. All right, let's do some things. We have some minions to talk to. So I'm actually just gonna quickly do this together because I learned recently you can wake all the minions at the same time, which is way helpful, and then just tell them who the demon is. So that's all three of our minions and we're gonna tell them this is the demon and these are your minions. And then let's grab Ellen, I believe she's next, and we'll let her know what the deal is with her team. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, you are the Shabaloth, uh, and you have a lovely, lovely team on your side. Your minions are Will. Cool. Arwell. Yeah. And Rob G, which apparently is short for Rob George. <laughs> but just Rob, Rob, Rob yep. is your minion. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Oh. And some roles that are out of play for you are Innkeeper. Yep. Courtier. Yep. And Exorcist. Cool. I always claim Innkeeper anyway, so that theme's nice. Perfect. Love that yeah. for you. All right. Cool. Brilliant. Thanks. Good luck. Bye. See ya. Alrighty, and let's start a, yes, this is not the truly old BMR because I have left out some of the things. I've kept the renamed uh, Moon Trial because the old name was not so great. Uh, and let's, okay, wait, I can't, I can't, I don't know if I can start a prediction and talk at the same time. This is harder than I thought. Okay, there we go. Uh, that should work. Now you can uh, guess who's going to win. And yeah, let's let's see. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there are some roles that have changed since previous iterations of BMR. The Puka is a great example. Um, I think Exorcist had different wording as well. Uh, but most of these, it was just that the wording was less clean, so they like were a little bit broken. And I am too lazy to run those, so I am just running the ones that are like fundamentally different and sillier. All right, let's uh, let Rob know that there is an old goon in play, which is fun. I like that I've named them. Uh, well, actually, we'll just we'll just go get them. That'll be fine. But yeah, I named them old sailor and old goon just for for posterity, I guess. But yeah, let's hello. Hello. <laughs> um, I am here to let you know that there is an old goon in play. Of course, there is. Of course, there yeah. is. <laughs> Yep. Just the one. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's yes, it is a 13 player game, so base zero. Okay, great. Thank you. Cheers. And let's find out who Arwell is going to protect. Hey. Hello. How's it going? Yeah, great. Cool. Uh, is it just 
Sorry, I'm very distracted by something, sorry. Is it just Sailor and Goon that's changed? Yeah, there are other things that were different on old BMR, but they were mostly wording things that made them work less well, whereas these are like fun character changes. So it's less yeah. like pure old BMR and more like BMR with the old Sailor and the old Goon. And everything else is well, just BMR. Well, I don't want to claim Sailor because then it's too obvious. So let's <coughs> protect Will, please. He can claim Sailor if he wants. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, thanks. Yep, no worries. All right, that is very fun. And that works. Let's see, what else do we have to do? Um, oh, and I've just realized the sailor is not actually on the night order because I forgot to do that. Uh, so we'll just have to remember every night to wake up our old sailor. And let's do that now. Hello, hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Nothing quite like waking up early to be an old sailor, not just any sailor. I think this is actually less complicated because I don't need to worry about who I drug. That, yeah. that's, that's on you. you I just, just exactly. decide. You can just blame, blame me completely. Alright, I'm tempted to do a dumb plan, which is die immediately, get the professor to res me, then just live forever. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I freaking love that plan. That's bonkers and I... super fun. Alright, um... To start off with, I will drunk myself. Okay, you got it. Excellent, thank Cheers. you. That is a very fun plan. So we have a, oh good, the reminder tokens worked. <laughs> I'm very new to putting characters that don't belong on the script on the script, so we are all learning together. Uh, all right, we have, okay, that's our sailor done. Um, oh, we have to decide who the grandmother is going to see. And okay, it's Ra Ra that makes sense. Jor Raj, I get it. Cool. Uh, let's give George. Who do we want? Or Raj. It's Raj. Raj is the grandmother. Let's give Raj the. Let's see. Who do we want? Um. Any relation between Moo Child and Lord of Taish? <laughs> I love that. Yes, the uh, the Moo Child is the 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 when the little monster and Lord of Typhon, That's what happened together. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, we need to give Raj a grandchild, and I think let's stick away from the tea lady situation although weirdly our well protecting will is like one of the best things because if they execute will he won't die and it might look like daniel's actually gone off but i think i want to stay away from there just in case so maybe let's give raj george the professor i think that i like I often give Professor. I like Gambler too, but I think the problem with Gambler is that I want the grandmother to have the consequence of dying uh, when the grandchild dies, and the Gambler often dies to their own ability before killing the grandmother. Um, and I want, I'm want i hoping that there will be a lot of death this game. So we're gonna let Raj know that uh, George too is the Professor. Hey, hey. Hello! How's it going? Pretty good, how are you? Doing good. Um, I am very pleased to let you know, in the true spirit of George's, that George II George is II. the professor. Ooh, the professor. All right, all right. Okay, sounds good. Cool. Thank you. Good luck. All right, that should be good. And then just Lorinda, and Lorinda will get true information. So let's let them make a pick. Hey, hey. Hi there. You have broom. Uh, who would you like to uh, to to sweep in on? <laughs> That's how that works. Um, I'm gonna go for Brockwell and Ellen. On Brockwell the, um, and a, a Ellen. Slightly less chaotically sometimes. Yeah. All right. You get a zero. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, good stuff. Cheers. All right, ah, that's tricky. So Lorinda is actually drunk right now because of the goon, uh, which has functioned the same way that it functions, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, but uh, Ellen, because she said she was gonna bluff Innkeeper, 
I've given a zero, but what's really actually quite helpful is that because Brockwell or Bro George, uh, which, wow, that's that's a name, uh, because he has, uh, he is the goon, I think we'll have some cover. So if he comes out as the goon at any point, Lorinda can be like, oh, I was drunk. So whatever Ellen is bluffing, she should actually be okay. I think the zero is probably just the safest bet. Um, but yeah, mostly giving that zero because she originally said innkeeper and I want to just let her have that, assuming that's what she wants. So that is our whole first night. Um, I'm just going to take a quick gander and make sure there's no other random reminder tokens we need. I think we're good to go. So let's wake them up. Oh, good morning, everyone. There is a very old moon in the sky. Um, it looks like it could be bad, but it just hasn't quite gotten there yet. It's We're not sure. But what we do know is that it's very, very old. Just like King George. <laughs> Just a random comparison. He's he's not allowed on the council. <laughs> no. Please go uh, talk so I can stop. <laughs> <laughs> no. We want to make. Let's hard claim. Let's just hard claim. I'll happily hard claim to you. Okay, let's happily hard claim. Okay. Oh, I'm going first. That's fun. Think... I'm the I'm the professor. Oh, I knew you were the professor. Okay, cool. Um, so I think we should kill me and resurrect me. Mm. Mm. Firms two players. Yeah, but you see, what ha what's happened here is that you've you've had me claim a thing and then said yes, I knew that was true. Yes, um, yes, that is. Yes, yeah, so. Yeah, so what, what's, what's I'm noticing is this conversation has mostly been to your benefit and in no way to mine. Well, I haven't learned anything new. I knew you were that. <laughs> well, there you go then. Yeah, um, so what I'm saying is, if you, if you yeah. kill me as a town. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's great. You've definitely, you've convinced me to execute you. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do and that. I think resurrect me specifically. TBC. Um, uh, for awful, I'm probably the lunatic, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm uh, Moonchild or a thinker. Cool. Uh, I may hold fire on that until another day, but I appreciate sure. it, and uh, I probably won't go hard claiming that to other, anyone else. So, um, okay, yeah, cool. Sounds good to me. Thank you very no much. Worries. All right, good luck. A bit. Don't get me wrong. I'll tell you what. I'll give you two. Oh, give me two. Oh, I like this. As a gambler, I like these odds. Yeah. Well, then you can decide whether to risk it on me or yeah. decide to get hard claim on something else. Yeah, it's alright. I'd love to risk a biscuit on you. What 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 are the two sides of the biscuit? Digestive uh, and minstrel. Minch oh, minsty. And grandfather yeah. who's seen a minstrel. Or oh, you're a grandee that's seen a minstrel. See, minstrel is interesting because that's actually chocolate sweets, isn't it? Minstrels. Yeah. So my digestive could well be topped with minstrels, yeah. or could be a beautiful biscuit base with minstrels in. We could. We need to work out the tax implications, though, for that. Ah, uh, it's fun. I mean, do you know what? If Amazon don't need to pay tax, we don't need to pay tax. <laughs> Fair in enough. this in this town, no one pays tax because no one lives long enough to get fucking self assessment in. <laughs> There's a reason our public services are crumbling around here in Ravenswood Bluff. Yeah. No we one's got a job that pays need. any money. It's an official mm. proclamation of George, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is, exactly. Down with the king. I, and you're like, I want to use my ability, then I'm a good person to use it on. Let's go with that. Yeah, there's definitely that. Sure. Um, I'm going to claim other shit to other people, and you can claim cool. whatever you want. All right. Have fun. See ya. It would make sense to do the other way around, right? Because I can claim courtier and then like use it at some point, and then I'd stop waking, and then if I ever get checks, it makes sense. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, I'll go back to system. Okay, grand. But I didn't claim, I didn't claim that to you. I claimed four to you. Cool. Okay, I just claimed Exorcist to you. Okay, great. Alright, great. Right, cheers. Cheers. Go ahead, die first. Okay, through through what method would you like to come back? Preferably the professor, but if that okay. fails, I'd happily take a share. But, you know, if they want Fair. to organize it a couple you, days later. Is this, is this a plan you've cooked up with the professor? I haven't found the professor, but nine. See, nine out of thirteen. Yeah. Or well, I have great news. I am the now. professor. Oh, absolutely amazing. Yeah. I will is, trust that was my life. Nice. Yeah. So I'm you more than me. happy to go ahead and just kill you. That seems like a risk-free yeah. plan on our part. Yeah. 
Wonderful. Uh, why is it we should be killing you again? Sorry. Uh, don't worry about that. that oh, it's not an issue. Just don't worry about that's it. It's not, fine. That's not important. It's not a problem. Great. Okay. Love that for us. One, one in general. I always like someone dying day one on BMR just because it makes it a lot easier to identify if there's a zombie game. Oh, you want to kill him? Yeah, yeah, kill. Cool. Get dead. Oh, oh yeah. But it's like, oh. in general, let's just get let's just get rid of. Oh. All right, welcome back, Council of Georges. Uh, now's a good time to talk to each other about, you know, important George-related matters or anything else. Alex, I think I saw your hand first. Sorry, Alex the fourth. Thank you. Um, you know, I am fourth of my line. Um, still as virile as my old granddad. It's great. Um, anyways, in time-honored clock tower tradition, there's a gossip on the script, so I feel the need to annoy everybody. I would like to gossip that I think there might be a summoner in play. So let's gossip there's a demon. So Jams, one player in the circle is a demon. Reasonable. Anyone else? Alex. Just go for it, whoever wants to. Um, I'd like to gossip that there is no outsiders. No outsiders in play, got it. Is that Daniel's hand down there? Um, I'll gossip, please, that the demon has altered their name in honour of George. <laughs> Got it. Does that right. include George 2? It includes George yeah. and George 2. Okay. Uh, George 1? I will gossip that exactly one of the Georges is evil. Exactly one of the people with George or an alternate spelling of George in their name on the Grim at this moment? Yes. Okay. Got it. Arwa? I will gossip that there are exactly one, or there is exactly one character in this game that has the word old at the beginning. Exactly one. Exactly one. All right. Uh, Joraj? Uh, I'd like to gossip that the outsider is closest to the demon in the clockwise direction. So that's the direction between the outsider and the demon. Okay, so basically gossiping, there is an outsider in play, and they are they are closer to the demon clockwise than they are counter. I realize this is going the opposite direction for everyone yes. watching, but yes. Great. <laughs> cool. I understand how clocks work. It's hard, but I got there. All right. Would anyone like to nominate? George one will nominate George one. Okay. Um, I can't wait to find out if this is anything more than just, there's enough Georges in town. Let's tone it down a bit. <laughs> I mean, that's always sad. But um, in general, people I've spoken to, I would like to die today for a number of reasons. Hopefully a professor can bring me back, but uh, just if that doesn't happen, it still identifies if there's a zombie or not. This is a good idea. Please do this. All right. It takes seven votes to put George 1 up for execution. Starting now. And we please get some more hands. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Nine is so many. George one is about to die. Uh, I'll nominate Giraj. Tell me about it. Uh, I just wanted to clarify your gossip. When you say that they are closest to the demon, let's say Hob was the D or Hodge was the demon and Bro George was the old goon. Is Bro George closer? Clockwise? Yeah, Thank it's you. the distance from the outsider to the demon. So if... Is this the accusation? <laughs> no, just, just need some clarification. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. Uh, in this case, so if Bro George were the demon, then the outsider would be closer in the clockwise direction. It, the demon would be closer to the outsider in the clockwise direction. Mm. All right. This is falling apart. Let's get him. Takes nine to tie and <laughs> ten to put Joraj on the block starting now. <laughs> Definitely the convincing defense, no. Seven is not enough. George one, still going, and this is the last call for knobs. Uh, George two nominates Lorinda. Why? Uh, George one seems earnestly good here. 
Uh, let's vote for somebody who seems less good. Oh, look, Lorinda's here. Lorinda? Hi, guys. Hello. Nine to tie, ten to die. Uh, Lorinda, can you explain G. Raj's gossip? I'm still getting my head around. No it. one can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, I do understand it, which is probably okay. good, because I think I'm the only one that really needs to. Seven's not enough. And George's oh, one is going to die. It's a bit like a Jenga puzzle, it's isn't it? Like Daniel? like a maze of gossip what um i agree with going for somebody who isn't actively volunteering to die but i don't think lorinda was the right child for that so daniel thank you very well once again nine to tie ten to die starting now and daniel do you have any thoughts on the gossip uh, it was terrible yeah okay good eight is not enough Raj nominates Ab George. Ab George do. Excuse me. Why? Um, based on their gossip, I think they're just the Godfather. Ab George do tell us. Should you die? It was actually because I had about two outsiders, which seemed kind of sus. All right, nine to tie and ten to die once again, starting now. If we're nominating no, people based on their gossips, isn't Giraj the mastermind? Because no one else can get their head around this. That oh, is hey. enough. People! What the hell? Wow! George one is safe. <laughs> As George do is now Ooh. about to die. And the day will end got whiplash. in Crazy. five, three, two... I'll nominate uh, Giraj. I think he's already been nominated. Yes. Uh, nah. But you can nominate someone else if you'd like. Nah. In that case, that's fine. I'll just... Okay, Abdridge Dew is executed. Go to sleep. Fun. Oh! I like chaos, but I also desperately like using the pacifist as a townsfolk. And Abdridge Dew is a townsfolk, um, a good player, nonetheless. And there's a pacifist in play. So, yeah, I think that makes sense. That also does prevent the professor from doing their thing tonight, but I also don't think that's a major issue. I am a big fan of using the pacifist almost just any time whenever I can, because it is a townsfolk. It should be used as a townsfolk. Um, they just put a good player up for execution. Because George One had a plan as the old sailor to, you know, be drunk, die, and then let the professor bring them back to life, I would have honored that and not used the pacifist in that situation. But Abdurge Jude didn't do anything to be suspicious. Um, just kind of got voted on, and I think that's really when you want to be using the pacifist. So there we go. Let's find out what George One wants to do tonight. Hey, that was interesting. They all deserve what's coming to them. I'm never dying. Drunk whoever you want. <laughs> Excellent. I like this. Thank you. One. Wonderful. All right. So someone else will be drunk tonight. Who shall it be? Um. Oh, God. See, this is one of those things where, like, I'd really love to do. There's a lot of things I could do. I think possibly the most vicious thing I could do, which is maybe what I'll do, but I'm torn because I want there to be a lot of death. But I'm looking at what's on the script. And I know, I know, I, I see I see you, Gimling. I see you making fun of me saying, I hope there's a lot of deaths this game. I think that quite possibly we want to actually drunk Alex, who made a blatantly true gossip. <laughs> but I'm slightly worried. I think maybe we'll drunk Abdu. Just because that might not be major. I, my thought is, like, if there's three deaths, like, how many things could that be? They didn't kill anyone, so it's not going to be a... It's not, yeah, it, I think if there's actually three deaths, if that gossip goes off, that rules out a lot of worlds. That basically says it has to be a Shabaloth game, or it's a single kill demon, a gossip, and yeah, I think in most worlds that actually confirms the gossip. So let's not confirm the gossip now. Let's drunk him. I might retroactively move this for fun. Um if it's going to be more balanced that way. But for now, I think we're going to do that. Make the sailor drunk the gossip so that that doesn't go off just to hide the kill count and give the evil team a little bit of protection. Um, let's find out who 
um, T was going to gamble. Hey, you're muted. <laughs> Hello, I'm confused. <laughs> Me too. Um, <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I know what's going on. <laughs> Who would, you yeah. like, who would you like to gamble? Um. Okay. Both of my neighbors have told me they are not the tea lady. So, I guess gambling still gives me information. Um. I will gamble George as the professor. Which George? Uh, George 2. <laughs> George 2 as the professor. You got it. Thank you. Cheers. All right. That is reasonable. Uh, Abdu will live. And I believe we've got to find out who Arwell is protecting next. Hey. Hello. Um, who to go for? Uh, let's protect George 1. George 1. You got it. Yeah. Thanks. Cheers. Who can't die anyways, so that does the same thing <laughs> that it already was doing. All right, and we'll remove this because that already happened. Uh, let me just double check. Time for Ellen to murder. Hey. Hello. Cool. I'm going to choose Lorinda. Okay. Who I think is the chambermaid. Um, and then somebody else. I'm fairly shooting a random for the rest because I don't have a good other target. Excellent. Um, so I, I want to leave alive whatever's happening in that corner if there's a tea lady, I think, at least for now. Um, I will go for uh, Alex. Alex, you got it. Cool. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Interesting. I actually don't, I don't mind that. I think the, the kill on Lorinda is rough, but also could be explained by the tea lady being drunk. So don't mind that because we have a sailor that could explain it. And then the kill on Alex could like, like a gossip that was so blatantly true that it just killed Alex. So I think those two kills are fairly balanced. That should work out. Um, and then just looking around, so we're now going to wake up George too, who presumably won't try and stab in the dark, but let's see. Hey. Hello. What a Unsurprisingly, day. not good. Yeah, what a mess. Uh, I will not try to use it tonight. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, so he's still got an ability, and that, I believe, is everyone, but I'm just going to do a quick peek around. Yeah, because that's our chambermaid dead. So let's see. Um, all right. Yes, we are good to go. Just checking in on chat and seeing what you guys are up to. All righty. We, yeah, that's our, that's our whole night. Let's do it, because, you know, want to make sure we're done in plenty of time for the next game on TPI. Uh, uh, yeah, I should. Okay, I should yeah, yeah. Good morning. There is a dead Lorinda in your midst, and oh, also a dead Alex the Fourth. Oh, <gasps> that's just Ooh. rude. I know what's going on there, <laughs> fuckers. On you go. That's like so the does that mean the demon is clockwise of the old goon? <laughs> no, the gossip <laughs> went off. I was a powerful townsfolk though. Excellent. Um, like, I was, well, I am the tea lady. You're the what, sorry? I'm the tea lady. Interesting. Okay. I am fascinated. I was the chambermaid. Like, if it's a spy game, I told one person I was the chambermaid as well. Well, there's not a spy on script, Lorinda. That's what I mean. <laughs> it was a spy. I had to check. To see spy, the, spy the most script. important character on BMR. Yeah, the old BMR favourite. Yeah. Well, let's um, Ellen professor. was the only person I told what I was. Let's help with the professor. Well, let's let's kill Will more importantly. Let's kill Will and let's help with the professor. Right, how are we going to frame Will? Because um... I'm the tea lady. Lorinda died. Isn't the best frame. No. No. 
We need someone else to nominate Will, but someone we trust, and I've not got anybody that I trust yet. Because I'm giving them a free kill. <laughs> mm. So maybe, what we can extrapolate... Well, okay, well, if the, if the demon doesn't want the free kill... So if I've been killed by the demon, the gossip wouldn't have gone off. That means... There's, there's, uh, it's BMR, there's loads of other reasons. Yeah, who did we execute? Yeah. We, well, well, we executed um, Abdu, but he didn't die. Oh, did he not die? I missed that. Oh, okay, no. so the Godfather can't have gone off. No. Um, it could be Tinker, Gambler... Assassin. Tinker could have... Yeah, Tinker could have gone off. Shut Assassin could have gone off. Hmm. Okay, there's lots of reasons. Okay. Well, that does seem like a shame. Um... What about you? What are you going to claim, given that I'm dead and obviously... Yeah, what I'm going to claim is a professor. So, probably going to pick okay. you. Sounds interesting. That could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like good use of my time. Yeah, Will was the only person I told, so we should probably kill Will. Cool. Yeah, works for me. Okay, cheers. Cool, get rid. Lovely, thank you. Are you the tinker? No. <laughs> Don't worry about it. The plan will, you know, the plan will still somewhat work. It's just all right. Let's go for it. Less today. good. No, 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 no. We don't kill me now. That was yesterday's time. What is this the... plan? I'm very confused. I'm not telling you what the plan is. Like I said, I think you're the DA who perked Ab George. You didn't want the plan to happen, so you caused a kill into your DA pick. Are you the old goon? I'm not Ellie. I'm... What would be the point of the old goon dying immediately? I'm I'm confused because you're I don't know what character on this script you would want to kill immediately. All right, Where you're like, part of the plan. Sure. Was the... Thank you much. Oh, thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Uh, oh no, I'm I'm hoping there's no pacifist in this game. Interesting. Why? I've got, I've got, I've got my fingers crossed. I've got my fingers crossed, um, because I, I went gambler and pacifist, and now there's apparently a, a gambler. So now I've got to hope there's no pacifist, and I'm hoping I might get chosen at some point. T. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds <laughs> great. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> good. 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 It's probably enough day. Wow, this is this this is quick on the timings. <laughs> we have a game to play. <laughs> there's a demon out there in this town. Isn't that what you said? No, there's not. Right, my bad. I forgot to put one in. All right, welcome back, Alex the Fourth. Go for it. Um, just I'm not gossiping because do you know what the gossips just died. Um. I gossip just to recall everybody's memory here that there was a demon in play and I think I've been punished for being very naughty. Um, given we didn't execute, <laughs> there's probably not a godfather. So, I think there was one actual demon death, but I'm happy that you lot live in a shab world. Discuss. Uh, can I gossip, please? You may. Um, I think uh, Gia Raj was onto something. I'll gossip that the demon is clockwise of me. Okay. Well, they are if you keep going round enough, so eventually. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, technically everything's in a circle. In a... <laughs> Sorry. It's so confusing. Uh, uh, Abby, uh, come back to me. Okay. Lesson. George the first, or George one, whichever uh, one you want to be. I. I'm final five. I will gossip that George Raj is the DA who protected Ab George yesterday. Love it. Correct amount of Georges in that gossip. <laughs> Would anyone else like to say anything? You can also nominate. I would like to nominate Love George, please. What? Um, Love George claimed to be something that I have confirmed elsewhere. Uh, I'm the gambler. Um, I've gambled someone as a thing. Love George claimed to be that thing. It wasn't Love George that I confirmed as that thing. Love George? <laughs> well... I did lie to you, but that's fine. But I was hoping to be confirmed as, as a goon, as the thing I was saying. 
So that was was what I was going for, but that is fine. Okay. Uh, Take six votes to put Rob George up for execution. Starting now. Yeah. So this is not a good idea as there is a Godfather in play. Five is not enough. Any other Are you evil right now, Rob George? Tell the truth. Uh, I've we can't had kill you for it. I, I've had uneventful nights. Oh. I'm just, now I'm hoping to have a very eventful night. Any other notes? George one will nominate Gio Raj. Why? There was an excellent plan yesterday. It involved killing me. Gio Raj got in the way of that. They nominated an Ab George. And then Ab George didn't die. From the sounds of it, that wasn't from Ab George's own ability. I think Gio Raj is just a DA who um, didn't want my plan to go ahead. And he wanted um, Ab George to die. Likely, Gio Raj is protecting themselves today, but this will be useful to test. Gio Raj? Um, I think you'll find that nine people wanted your plan to work and ten people decided they didn't, so. All right, and it takes six people to put Gio Raj up for execution now. I don't think those maths line up. There's not nine. I blame all players. 19 of them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, this guy can't get his story straight. Seven's yeah. enough. Last call for nuns. Can George nominate Alex the Fourth, please? What? Okay, so w what I think has happened last night is that Alex the Sombul killed himself and Dorinda was assassinated. Uh, perfect cover for Alex to claim to have gossiped that there's a demon in play before that. Let's get him. Alex the Fourth. <laughs> I'm not a zombie. You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> Take seven votes to tie and eight votes to die. Starting now. Come on, let's all vote for this. I want to be uh, doubly dead. <laughs> okay, I'm not wasting my vote. Well, five's not enough. The day will end in five. I have a question, James. Yes. If I am the gossip and I am killed right now and then I am resurrected and brought back by the professor, would my gossip from today still stand or would it reset? Uh, so the gossip is backwards checking, so even though it's a new iteration of the gossip ability, as soon as you pop into existence as the gossip, uh, it would check back and go, what did you say yesterday in town? And if that public statement was true, then a player would die to the gossip ability. Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, I'd like to gossip that one of the neighbors of the innkeeper picks last night, exactly one, was evil. Okay. Alex the Fourth, any oh. last words? Uh, I, I would like to gossip. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a demon in play. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, wait, also, I want to nominate, to nominate Will. Oh, go ahead. Yes. Um, I have been told by someone who I had a reason to trust that Will did something fishy. Um, and that is a more compelling reason to me to execute Will, that is to execute Kirak, who I'm inclined towards trusting this day. Will? Well, I don't know what I did, but um, I haven't had. But stop doing it. Yet, so I, I can't. I can't do that. You know, I've done nothing. So leave me alone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Reasonable. Seven to tie eight today. Starting now. Five is not enough. The day will end in three, two. Shiraj also would like to nominate George the first. Wait, no, he nominated. No, did he nominate himself? Nope, that was yesterday. No, Go on. Mm -hmm. um, I just I keep hearing about this great plan, and I would like to give it an opportunity <laughs> to shine. Uh, I apparently um, have been found by a jury of my peers to have taken it away yesterday, and I want to make up for my previous evil actions. George one. No, the time for the plan has moved on. It's a different plan now. It was yesterday that was the time for the plan, and someone got in the way of that plan, and they're about to die. So I'm more than happy with this. Thank you. Well, 
Seven to tie, eight to tie, starting now. Five is not enough. The table end in three, two, one. Joraj, you are brought before the town for the crime of not letting George I follow whatever plan he may or may not have had. And you are executed. Good night. It's a goddamn DA, I know it. <laughs> Oh, I like this. I like this very much. So, uh, yes, that is, of course, another use of the pacifist, partly because it feeds into the world where George is the DA, but partly because it might... It's, yeah, a second real-life pacifist thing in a row. Um, I do sort of wish we could listen to what um, what he's saying there. I'm also debating switching the server that we're in right now, just because it seems a bit stuttery, but as long as we can hear everyone talking, I think we're going to be all right. So let's just uh, keep on going. Let's, I think George is, is busy talking about stuff, and I'm pretty sure I know what he's going to do, but we're just going to quickly grab him now. Like, I spoke to kill. Hey. Drunk one of those fuckers, please. Don't care. Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Ahoy. <laughs> All right, so someone will be drunk, and let's see. Perhaps it should be... It would be very mean to drunk George, too, but I think... I think maybe that's what we do. Um, yeah, because we don't have a lot of options, but I also think George might die tonight. So maybe let's stick it on Ab George. Let's see, I think that'll be more chaotic and probably more damning, but I could also see the professor thing being more damning. I'm not sure. I don't, I think we have to just commit to one uh, and the <laughs> who do we want it to be is the real question do we think the professor or the gambler i actually think the professor is okay because we're at the point in the game where a shab would bring someone back and george has played so open and raj who is his grandma looks suspicious that that could look shabby so i think we drunk the gambler because that could also explain last night we have options yeah we'll leave it on abdu um and that brings us to our will. Hey. Hello. Who's it gonna be? Oh, I wish I knew who Giraj is gonna nominate. Um, who's he gonna have suspicion on? Let's go for, let's go for Bro George. Oh, in fact, no, hang on, sorry. Let's go for uh, Will. Will, you got it. Thanks. Cheers super smart and super funny because if they do try and kill will tomorrow he now can't die delightful uh and he almost got the goon uh all right i believe now ah gambler 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 hey hello roll them Can dice baby i <laughs> gamble love george as the goon sure Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I, I feel affirmed in my choice to use the sailor. <laughs> so that is uh, going to make Rob George look uh, very goon-like, uh, which is also fun because I think uh, Brockwell Birdchurch over here is very much looking to kind of play for evil if he can. So that, I think, is why he didn't put that last vote on Rob yesterday and why he kind of kept quiet about the fact that Rob seemed to be claiming goon. Um, and so Abdu's not going to die. And let's find out who Ellen is going to kill. Hey. Hello. Who shall it be tonight? I've done, like, a really terrible job of gathering information so far this game. Great. So I'm um, kind of shooting relatively blind. I, I'll go for... George too, who I know nothing about, and oh, can I just actually ask if, if there's an old goon? Does it does the order I pick them matter, or would it just be I don't get kills that night? Order I... does matter. So basically, okay. um, if you pick an old goon first, you're immediately drunk. Or this is the same as yeah. with the new goon. Yeah. Who, if you pick the goon first, you are drunk, and the second kill doesn't go through. 
uh, if you pick the goon second, the first kill will go through because you were not drunk at the time of the first kill. So it's not okay. like an Alhad where it drunks the whole ability, so there's no announcement. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, In which so case, I'll go Bro George first because I'm more confident that he's not the goon. And then I'll go George too. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. That's so funny. Okay. Well, let's tell Bro George that he evil. <laughs> <laughs> you bad. Yeah, yeah bad, bad boy. <laughs> you cool. bad. Yep. Bad, sounds bad, bad. Sounds good to me. Yep. Thank you very much. It sounds bad to Please. you. <laughs> Bye. Oh, it does. Sound, yeah, it sounds very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, God. Okay. So, what's really fun is that because the Shabaloth is drunk, um, the, the previously chosen players cannot come back to life. Um, so... Yeah, that that works for us. So basically, we're just going to put a dead and then turn that upside down uh, to signal that these kills don't actually work. Um, Alex and Lorinda cannot be resurrected because the Shabaloth is drunk. Um, although actually, tech, nope, I lied. That's not true. I know how the rules work. The Shabaloth resurrections happen first. Yeah. No, no, they don't. A dead player you chose last name may be regurgitated. What am I? I don't know how the game works. It's fine. Um, we're just gonna say that that I I think the way I said it first is correct. <laughs> it's I haven't slept a lot. We're doing great. Um, yeah. The hang on. There's a night order. We can check this. <laughs> This is great. This is why you use the rules. Yes. Okay. I was right the second time. The first. <laughs> We're doing so good, you guys. Um, the previously chosen player might be resurrected first. So technically, we could resurrect one of Alex and Lorinda. I don't think we'll do that because there's not going to be any destiny. But we could. <laughs> yeah, so the resurrection happens first. It's just written in the opposite order. This is why the almanacs are a huge help and why using these resources matters. Because I've run BMR probably a couple hundred times, and I still don't know what order those things happen in. So, <laughs> yes. The resurrection happens first, then the kills happen. That way, like, if usually if you're in a situation where the Shabaloth can kind of kill down to the end of the game as the storyteller, best practice would be to pick who you're going to resurrect first, and then when the Shabaloth chooses, if they choose the person that you had resurrected, then that person stays dead. Um, just because balance. Uh, anyways, we need to go to George, too, who I can't believe she switched the order. <laughs> Let's find out if he's going to do it. Hey. Hello. I was getting a little worried I was dead. That's good to know. Um, right, we're, we're going to send it tonight and see what happens. Okay. Uh, I'll pick Lorinda, please. Okay. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> what a morning this will be. So Lorinda's going to come back to life because of the professor. And he has no ability. And that means Lorinda gets to pick someone, which is extremely funny because he could turn Brockwell back good because it's old goon. <laughs> so let's see what happens now. Hi. You're muted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah, yeah, my yeah. bad. All good. Okay. Pick two players. Interesting. Um, let's go for Daniel and Will. Daniel and Will, you get a zero. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Yes. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, I know. I want me. Let's have lots of death. The game. <laughs> Good morning. No one is dead and someone is alive. This is fine. Good morning, everybody. Lorinda is alive. Thank you. Oh, well. Well. On you go. It's pretty fun. Uh, just Lorinda. I, yeah, that's the. Uh, I, 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 like, no one I died. No one's died. <laughs> I meant, I meant I no one died. Game. I may have a reason why no one died. You know, I I firmly believe Raj is a DA. Something's going to tear him I'm the old uh, s -s 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 the old sailor. Ooh, mm. that's so the plan is to die, get Professor Rezzed, be confirmed good, and then never able to die. 
Oh, that's more But Raj ruined it. Uh, and I firmly believe Raj is the DA. And I would very you... much like to kill Raj today. Why do you think he's the DA? Just to uh, not dying? Yeah, or oh, in let's just go chat. Hello. So essentially I very clearly tell her that I wanted to die for a number of reasons which all benefit the good team. He nominated you and then you didn't die. From my understanding, that was not from your own ability? Uh, no, but I've heard there's a pacifist. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, and I heard of a pacifist who basically, like, I was asking them what they were and they were like, mm, I can give you a two. And they gave me yeah. a pacifist and my level. Okay. Yeah, and then essentially yesterday I wanted to kill him but just to test if he was the DA as I said. Now, it could be two pacifist saves, that's fine, but either way, I think we kill him today just because he's a very likely DA candidate, and if we don't... Yeah. It's just... mm -hmm. Interesting. Like to me, if I'm being honest. Yeah, no, I'm the pacifist. Um, yeah, don't know what they're claiming, but yeah. So, if you're the... Yeah, if you're the course that's wrong with the DA, then hopefully, if we're just testing random people, I'll be able to prove myself. Because the problem is with the pacifist... Yeah. Sometimes it can almost be an outsider, but yeah, then, probably, yeah, yeah. but then, yeah, you can't really matter well, that. Like it's it it is what it is. Yeah. Um, if if George one is claiming old sailor, then the only other quite fun. But it still it still has to somebody has to have eaten the kill somewhere. Has has the goon turned? That'd be the question. Right. The goon could have turned. So the, the demon wasting on the goon seems awful because um, of the old goon's text feels like a, that looks a minion job. Yeah. Um, so if there was a DA who protected me last night, they could have turned the goon. But yeah, I guess where else could they have hit? There could be an innkeeper. Okay. Maybe there's an innkeeper. I haven't. I've got like four pranks, so maybe there is one. Otherwise, it could have been a po charge. Po charge I mean, is possible. I think it's probably not a shab with zero deaths last night. Yeah, that's hard to explain. Um, it could be a put. No, poker doesn't make a lot of sense either. Dead. Oh, I've heard information. I would also like Will dead. Excellent. Cool. Um, yeah, I've heard an exorcist who has picked Will last night. Even better. Oh, yeah. I, I've heard of an exorcist, so I hope it's the same one. Yeah, cool. Uh, da, 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 in keep. I keep. And we've not. Tea later. Oh yeah, so so Lorin, I yes, so Lorin. Yeah, Lorin has been Professor Rest or Shab Rest, but yeah, I think that's unlikely with no other deaths in the night so early in the game. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think Will definitely seems like a good person to go for. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to town. Once again, now is a good time to do your chit chats and your murder. Or what? I messed up yesterday, sorry. I'll gossip that the demon's anti clockwise from there. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. One way or another, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. And can I nominate Will, please? Yeah, of course. Why? Okay, I don't want to give too much away about my role, but. On night two, I threw holy water onto Alex. There were deaths. <laughs> and then I threw some holy water onto Will. There were no deaths. <laughs> Will, okay, let's I'm say you. Between the lines, and I think I understand what you're you're throwing at me. Um, I would say it's holy water. Holy water. Yeah. Um, I would say today would not be a good day to kill me. Um, for reasons which most people don't know, but um, I can explain tomorrow. But I think there's better executions today. Okay. Takes six votes to put Will up for execution, starting now. I'm very convinced that Gia Raj is the DA, and I'd very much like to kill them today, just because if we don't, I'm there's going to be Gia Raj. So, I've heard multiple. Oh, no, the multiple reason is. Never mind. You got me. That's um, can, I, can I ask um, that we don't execute anyone, and then I get to come back to life tomorrow? That would be amazing. <laughs> come back to a full town. Make jam George cry. One will nominate Geo Raj. Why? 
um, I think I've said all I. I think I've said all I just have to say. I firmly believe Raj is the DA. Please do this. Raj? Um, I'm not the DA. Very well. Six to tie, seven to die, starting now. What are you, George? Five's not enough. Me? I no, am no. the <laughs> George. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm a town, sir. Uh, for what, what it's worth, I am... Um... Oh, will you about to execute me? Go for it. <laughs> oh, I was um... going to give you three seconds, so you can just speak really oh, fast. I was just going to say, I'm a courtier that drank with the DA, so it's why I thought we should actually try someone today that we want to die, but... All right. I don't know who's... On that note, Will, you are executed. And you do... Not die. Good night. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Jesus Christ! What's what's BMR if not a game where no one is ever just <laughs> killed to execution? That was a fantastic protect by Arwell. Very fun. Uh, let's talk to George One, who presumably is going to make someone drunk again. Hello. Um. All right. Let's hope that they tried to kill me last night. And they're saying I'm going to be selfish. Let, let's drunk myself. Let, let's see what happens. Okay. You got it. All right. Thank you. All right. There we go. So we have a drunk sailor, which is spicy. Um, and let's see uh, who our gambler picks tonight. Hello, hello. Hello. Hmm. 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 My sausages. Um. I don't really. I haven't had much of a chance to have people tell me things. Um. So I guess I can confirm the exorcist. That feels useful. Uh. Oh well, as the exorcist. You got it. All right, excellent. The deaths begin. What's really fun is that this could just look like a po charge. So there's so many options. I think this will be quite fun. Let's grab Arwell, find out who he's gonna protect. Hello. Hello. Um, let's go for let's go for Gia Raj. Have a bit of fun. Great. Thank you. Thanks. If that happens, George One is going to lose his mind, and this delights me to no end. <laughs> All right, Ellen. Hello. Hello. My trying to avoid the goon left yesterday, I think, probably didn't work. Um, but, but the um, call. Do I just kill the tea lady and the chambermaid? I might do that, but Abdu's very suspicious of me, so I need to kill him at some point. Um, but that's going to be a problem. I'm just never going to tell him my role. He won't be suspicious. It'll be fine. Problem solved. Um, problem solved. How do you get around a gambler? Just ignore them. Um, I will kill... Oh, should I just kill Abdu? I kind of need to do it soon. Yeah, okay. I'll kill Abdu and Lorinda. Abdu and Lorinda. Yes. Oh, wait, no. Lorinda and Abdu in that order. Okay. Because all that matters. And Lorinda's definitely not the goon. <laughs> cool. Sounds good. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> oh, Lord. No. <laughs> I don't think this is terrible because it uh, it does um, double up the death, so it hides that Abdu's died to the gamble. But I am sad <laughs> because I really wanted there to be three deaths that night. Um but I think that's all right. Uh, it means that the... Oh, did one of these dead tokens... It's... Ah, that's why. It's stuck on George. Okay. So we could bring a previously chosen player back to life, but they're both alive. So that doesn't matter, which means that we're just going to have Abdu and Lorinda dead. And that's everyone. Uh, so let's go ahead and wake them up. Good morning, town. Lorinda's dead again, and Abdu is dead. God damn it. 
<laughs> well, I tried. Oh, well. You understand how much I hate this, don't you? I wish I could help you. Unfortunately, yeah, Ra Raggy is my grandmother, and... Uh... They... It should be fine for them to die then, George. If they're your he grandmother. Was, he, was, he was fine to die, but unfortunately, like... I don't think it helps us, um, because he's he's just good. I'm good, confirmed by him and the gambler and my own ability. What are you? I'm the um, professor. All right, uh, gambler confirmation isn't airtight as they could have been drunk by me. Sure, I mean, so can everything. Um, yeah. Not like I, I do have a theory. So a... you. Did you so you you made someone else drunk on night two? Is that right? Yes. I think you made the tea lady drunk. Ooh, who's the tea lady? Uh, Daniel is my tea lady claim. Uh, it's the reason I wanted to execute Will on day two is because Lorinda died next to a tea lady. Um, but Will survived, <laughs> and I know Lorinda's a townsfolk because I resurrected like, Lorinda. You know, I will go along. I will go along with this George. Yeah. But I want to kill Raj. If they're the grandmother, <laughs> they should be fine to die. And it also means you can't get a double kill if you die. You're more than welcome to vote for Raj. I probably won't. Um, I'd rather go after people like Ellen and Hob, who I think are more like... In front of me, it's a bit rude, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, gossip's an open bluff if you want it, because I'm dead. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. I think we should... Probably should we try and kill Will again? Assuming, I think key. it's a good. Uh, I think, I think I was not willing to execute Will yesterday because I think I thought he was evil. Because uh, mm. uh, Will is sat next to Daniel, who's claiming Tea Lady, and with Lorinda dying and coming back to life and dying, it does not look good. Oh, for Will. Uh, that is. Oh uh, yeah, we should kill Will. Let's get him. Yeah. Let's get him. Oh, thank you. Cool. Thank you. If it's Shab, I agree it's Will. It makes a lot of sense. Because that's the thing that would stop two deaths. Um, if it's not Shab, there are we have a old sailor and an old goon who both could have caused a night of no deaths. Um, mm. Who's the old goon? Because did you gamble the goon? Yes. Interesting. Because Rob G seems to be... Oh, sorry. Yeah. But you're the only person that knows that. And have you have you said to other people that I... or Because other people, I'm assuming, are telling you that I was saying that I'm the pacifist. Uh, well, I had a few pacifists down. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I got two currently. All but right, it's so fine. I just... I, I don't remember saying to anyone that I am the pacifist. Did I tell someone? No. Oh. Um, you might have done. Um, I wouldn't worry where that claim came from, because I think they're proven good um, okay so w what do you think about rob george then having going um probably evil <laughs> so okay. probably yeah. evil okay to be fair george you are capable <laughs> of doing things complicatedly uh, that's true but i've also got a deadline <laughs> i disagree no one in this game has ever done anything complicatedly <laughs> and that is a word that is now on that note, who wants to kill people in a whatever, however levels of complicated you wish? Running out of well, please. kills. You may. Uh, I am a tea lady, and my other neighbor has died twice. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I was just thinking about this. There's no real explanation I can realistically find other than an innkeeper fix Daniel, which apparently isn't the case, or Daniel's just evil, so I'm going to assume the second one. Um, from my point of view, the DA is drunk. I survived. So it's either due to the, a tea lady or a pacifist. Um, I'm leaning towards a pacifist, but my ability is nearly up, so you can kill me if you want. All right. Takes five votes to put Will up for execution, starting now. <laughs> A possible explanation I've heard today is that the tea lady has been sailor drunk on several occasions. Um, yes, we yeah. did talk, talk about that, but... Six yeah, is sure, so maybe. many. I There's do think lot. this is a good execution, but... 
Yeah. That's definitely there's definitely ways for it to be flawed. I don't know if you'll beat six, but I'll leave ten seconds. Um, in case people do want to move off, uh, I gambled our well as exorcist last night and died. Um, yeah, that's, it but but not the old gamble ability. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, well, it could be to a sh uh, will being a shab or someone else being a shab be. or. Uh, I better. think it's yeah worth pointing out. I've apart from like one, I've drunk someone else every night, so there is some sort of drunkenness going around the town. I will, will continue to do so. Is executed. And dies. Good night. All right. We have killed someone. <laughs> They've died to execution. Um, and I think this is all right, actually, because I don't think anyone's bluffing Minstrel. Um, Mastermind is helpful for the evil team, but not the end of the world. And what's really lovely is that we can bring back Abdu to try and protect Arwell, potentially. Gonna hold judgment on that for now just because it might not be the most helpful thing in the world. But what I do like about that is that Abdi wouldn't get additional information because he gambler goes before the demon, so he wouldn't actually get to gamble until tomorrow night and Ellen could just kill him again. So I'm potentially keen on that, but what I'm slightly worried about in that world is whether it leaves Ellen really vulnerable to execution tomorrow. Uh, but with a passive is potentially still alive, we'll see. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's find out who is gonna be drunk. Drunk covers well, every other night. Speaking of drunking others, what would you like to do? Um, let's drink with myself and just see how far I can keep this bluff going. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Cheers. That is spicy. All right, next to Arwell. Hey, hey. I think you muted yourself in the process of trying to oh, unmute yourself. God, <laughs> We've all been there. Uh, uh, let's go for. Oh, it's gonna. I think let's go for Ellen. You got it. Thanks. All right, I like that a lot. I think that works. Let's now go for Ellen. Hey, hey. Hello. Who shall it be tonight? Okay, well George is going to be one of them because George is like mega super confirmed. Um. Then I think probably Hob for the other one. I was just thinking, I don't think Good actually has any way to turn back the goon. Um, because the chambermaid's dead and we have all of the picking rolls. Um, so I think I can leave the goon, but I might talk to my minions about that. So I think I'm just going to go for George and Hob. George and Hob, you got it. Thanks. Cheers. All right, and that also takes out Raj. So now things are really getting down to it. Um, all right, so let's let's do that. And then that'll be interesting. Okay, so let's see. Tomorrow we will have, if three people die now, let's do some, some clock tower math. We're on nine, so we'll be down to six. So if Abdu comes alive, we'll go up to seven yeah that seems fair because it'll be clear that it's a shab game in which case they wouldn't be able to kill on six otherwise and they wouldn't know that's fine abdu will come back to life which will protect our well potentially which will let the da stay alive and i think that is overall going to be a good thing for the evil team especially with the voting power that they've got right now so yeah because they'll be it'll be four and four tomorrow with an evil goon and two minions and a demon cool we have done the math Let's do this. <laughs> just need to remember, I always like to go over in my head who's died in the night. So it's going to be George to Hob, Joraj, and then Abdu comes back. Cool. We did it. Good morning. Oh, okay. Uh, George too has died in the night. Hob has died in the night. Joraj has died in the night. Abdu is alive. Oh, can okay. I claim okay. Moonchild okay. Moon uh, and pick Rob George, please? Great shout. Yeah. Okay, oh, so you should have pick me. That's exciting. And then I just would choose to live. All right. Um, George, okay. Raj, I'd like to apologize. I am no longer on that tunnel. I, I appreciate the demon who killed George. Massive help. Thank you. What is the cause of the thing? Abdu. I, I just now confirmed. Oh, wait. I'm... 
What? Whoa, 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 whoa. How, why is that doing? Oh my god, how is it not? Should we eat the, the moon child? Because I have gambled a different. I've gambled someone as a goon. Yeah, but if you gamble the goon, they, you would be drunk, right? Like, but they can't be a goon and a oh, moon yeah, child. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good point. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I, I was the pacifist. Yeah. Uh, what? Are you actually the pacifist? Yeah, actually pacifist, along because with four other people, has, apparently. Has claimed pacifist to <laughs> yeah, me in an incredible way. Are you in a low swap with anyone? No, just 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 the bird, just the bird. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just thinking um, with you with you coming back to life. It means that means you were killed by the demon and not yeah. your own ability, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe. Hang on. What does the shab text actually say? Well, it just means that I was picked. Um, it doesn't it doesn't have to be someone who, who killed me, right? Uh, a dead player you chose last night. Yeah, chose might be the the uh, the judge here. So, yeah, so you, I was so chosen. You... In which case, what's the third death? That's a good question. Oh, um... oh, um, um, Professor was grandmother confirmed. Um, Jalaj oh, is see. the grandmother then. Okay. Probably. Okay. Um, um you and Bro George are in a double claim. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah, Bro George. Uh, Bro George claimed to be the old goon as well, uh, along with okay. Rob George. So I think Bro well, George is probably evil. <laughs> Bro George feels quite evil then. Yeah. Um, but I'm just thinking, with your ability then, is Orwell just confirmed then? Ask the expert. Um, he technically could be the shab who picked me. Um, like. But that feels no. But hang on. So the gossip. No, sorry. The gambler goes before demon kills. So if you it's, gamble, it's not about if I die, die. But it's not. It's just about me being chosen last night. It's not about me dying to Chab. So as long as oh, yeah, they, shit, they chose me, then it's fine. Okay. So oh well, could but. Well, Daniel, Daniel's never gonna be able to survive because no, he's, not he's never gonna survive, protect anyone. Like, yeah, if so, Daniel has never protected anyone, so we can make him look sus at the end. Yeah, I think definitely, if, especially if we execute Rob George. Rob George was apparently Abdu said they gambled Rob George as goon at one point, but obviously they're lying to me. Yeah, I think I think Hob must be the goon. Who... I, I've got Hob down as a goon, yeah. No, Bro George is the goon. Bro George is the goon. Bro, who's Bro George? No, Bro George is the pacifist. No, Bro George is... Oh, Bro George is the... No, he... uh, when Ellen killed... The Night of No Deaths, Ellen targeted Bro George and then George too. But all, all the executions that didn't go through, you're doing then? No, that's that's uh, Hob. Hob must be pacifist. No, I think Bro George is the pacifist. No, no, no. Ellen targeted Bro George and George too, and there were no deaths. Okay. There's no reason that can happen about okay, the game. Okay. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Is... okay, all the way around then. Okay, fair enough. I've been... Oh, do I go after Gambler? Yeah, I can just bring uh, Bro George on, on team tonight. If you're confident. I mean, I can do it by... Um, if you pick him, I can have a chat with him tomorrow, maybe. Yeah, sounds confident. good. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, okay, let's head back. This is good, actually. Right, let's go back, yeah. It's a great solving from them. I think it's very likely there's been DA saves. Bum, 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 bum. Welcome back. There are, I believe, seven of you alive, if I know how counting works. <laughs> we're almost at the half. If, if they were a king in this game, they'd almost be getting information. And then two more people would be revived. <laughs> Yeah. Ideally, if we can get back to the state where everyone is alive, I think that's truly the goal, right? That's how VMR <laughs> works. <laughs> right, on that note, um, nominations, anything else you want to share? Uh, just to be absolutely clear, everyone, um, Rank is my grandmother, so two of those deaths are explainable in one. Will, what night did you do the thing? Uh, night two, if my numbers are correct. Not the, no. I had two options to use it and didn't. So is that night two or night three? Night three. Night three, then. Night three. Then. Night, three. night three. Okay. So we're going to zero when you're on night three. Well, you the chambermaid. Yeah. 
Okay. Fine. So we 100%... Hang on, you got a zero on Will? Yeah, on the night that oh. I was resurrected. So I want to check that was night three, because I can definitely get those. Yeah. Wrong. I do, there is a sailor going around drunken people, I will say. There yes. is. Indeed, there is. I'd be so rough to, to drunk the... I, I, I hit the time the sailor, think... like... Um, when does the old sailor go? Same as, as the... Uh, sorry, it's sailor. not in the... It goes the same time as the current sailor. It's just not yeah. listed in the night order because I'm not that smart at creating JSONs. Yeah. So if Cam, if Cam foresaw that I was going to resurrect Lorinda and preemptively drugged them with the old sailor, then fair play, but I don't think that's what happened. <laughs> So Will is evil. I think Will is definitely evil. Um, I spent a full day chatting to him. I'd like to go for our Will or Rob Kilsch today. I... I'm okay to kill Brockwell as well. Yeah, oh, I'm more interested in Brockwell. I, I want to go to our Will or Blue George. But, 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 but Ab George, you wanted to go for me because you died to your gambler ability. It's proven now you were selected by the Shabalov. It's proven I was selected as a Shabalov. Exactly, I'm not tired. That doesn't clear you. Um, and more importantly, it's like all the other evidence, like, I trust a lot of the other people. I'm more, I, th I would more like to kill Blow George because they are in a double claim with a dead player, and also a double claim with an alive player, according to said dead player. Um, Last so, I, I, I'll nominate Blow George. What? What are you really, yo? Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am the pacifist. Um, I understand there may be a double claim of that, but I believe they back down. Um, yeah, I I think I've been causing a lot of problems around town. So if you want to get rid of me, go for it. But there's more than one reason why I probably won't die here. All right. Takes four to put Bro George up for execution. Starting now. Hmm. Rob George wants this. Yeah, because I want to prove myself that I'm good. I today. as well. Lump Five off. is a plenty. Bro George is on the block. That's also so many of the living players. I don't know if it'll be beaten, but just in case. Four more seconds. Orwell, where's that hand come from? Um, if you press space, you can put your hand up, and I just did it last minute. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just think this will be a good test today. All right. Bro George is executed. And dies. Good night. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. All right, that is big for the evil team because it gives the Godfather a kill at kind of a crucial time. But I also don't know if uh, if Rob and Ellen have spoken to actually coordinate who they're going to take out. Um, I do think that just for the sake of the, the interest of having a final day, I might resurrect although Ellen has gotten really unlucky with a lot of the kills that we've had. Um, I also have a sneaking suspicion that George the Sailor might choose to be sober, in which case he'll be a good player alive towards the end of the game. So yeah, not too worried about that. And what's nice is that the DA won't be protecting the demon tomorrow, so it should be a really tense, really exciting final day, which is always what we're going for. So let's find out what our Sailor's gonna do. Hello, hello. All right, I'm not exactly sure what's around town, but there's probably not too many things that are actually detrimental to drunk, so I will drunk someone else, please. You got it. Excellent. Cheers. All right, at this stage, I think it is probably better to drunk just the tea lady, I guess. I think I'd rather see the gambler do their thing and not worry about it. I also have a feeling that Ellen will probably just take out Abdu anyways, potentially. So yeah, let's let's leave it on Daniel because I think that'll be more interesting. Maybe not the best choice, but I think that is fair, especially with the Godfather getting a kill. I might regret it later, but who knows? Let's find out who Abdu is going to gamble. Hey. <laughs> Ellen has now told me at all that I can gamble her has, and I'm really paranoid. That's because she wants me to die and then kill two other people, so there's only evil people left alive, so that then she can win. And I think I'm too tunneled on this 
to try and confirm her, even though it would be very useful to know that. Uh, so instead, I'm going to gamble George 1 as the sailor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think y'all are right that um, Owen probably takes out uh, Abdu and Daniel. Um, Rob takes out himself, presumably. I mean, well, let's just find out. Hey. Hey. I kind of wanted to see if I could get three people dead, but I don't think I can because of the stupid sailor. Um, but the... So, I'm definitely killing Daniel. Okay. That's just definitely. Um, I think Abdu's just going to die gambling me. Um, and I was just kind of wanted to let that happen. But I think... And I wanted to see if I just looked shifty enough that he doesn't think I'm the demon. Um, but then I... I might try killing the sailor. I think it will fail. But I can't kill Rob because he's claiming goon and I'm claiming to have picked him and that's why my thing didn't work, etc. So I don't think I want to kill him. And I, I think I need my DA exorcist claim. So I, I'll kill Daniel and then I'll kill George. And either I get three kills or Abdu probably dies anyway. Okay. That's the plan. Sounds good. I'm scared of the plan. Cool. Thank Thanks. you. Let's see who Rob kills. Hey. Hello. An outsider has died. Oh. Well, I can change Bro George. Uh... <sighs> Fortunately, that means George one is real. I was like, it was either one of those is the goon. So I'm very likely to overlap here, but just in case Ellen hasn't, uh, no, because Georgia is just going to drunk someone else. So there's like no really advantageous kills um and i'm very i'm very likely to I'll, I'll pick george george uh george the first in just in case george the first okay you got yeah, it thank you cheers honestly don't think that's a huge issue it's effectively a final two anyways um so oh, i guess technically it'll be final four Five, yeah, because they only killed one person. Um, but that also oh, that'll be interesting to see if they sleep or not. Okay, well, let's not waste time. Good morning. Daniel is dead. Hmm. That's all. I mean, uh, I just quickly my around. info. Um, I checked Ellen and Brockwell on night one and got zero. I checked Will and Daniel on night three. I believe it was night three. Night was resurrected and got zero. Um, worth noting, um, I lied a little bit about my choices. Night four and night five, I decided to drunk myself. Okay, so we're only looking for drunkenness on night two and night three. Um, yeah. So, and Linda, can you could you repeat your uh, info? Sure. Um, Ellen Brockwell zero on night one. Will Daniel zero night three. Um, okay. Will and. Daniel. Daniel. Wait, also zero. Also yeah. zero. So we have a confirmed evil between Hob and Kill, uh, Hob and Rob, for fuck's sake. Um, um, we Wait, have. Who? No, no, we don't. Oh, we have a confirmed evil between Hodge and Bro George. Yeah, Hob and yeah. Bro. Oh. I'm. Oh, okay. Hob is. Yeah. Hob is. Okay. Hob is pacifist. He's claiming pacifist. Fascinating. Um, I think it's fine because I think Brockwell will back down from what I know. What? No, Brockwell yeah. is also <laughs> claiming. You, you have? Uh, Brockwell's the yes. pass for the goon. I might be in a roll swap. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, you're sure not a goon right. shot. Um, so. <laughs> I yeah. want to kill Ellen. I want to kill Ellen so bad. Interesting. Um, like, isn't okay. Ellen like the best explanation of the Night of No Deaths? Um, 
I'm also there's an a sailor. Coach. There's a sailor and a goon. I I provide goon. also an explanation. Yeah, um, I was I evil. Pick, I turned evil. I picked Ellen the night of a lot of deaths. Yeah, but oh well, I'm pretty sure you're also evil. Yeah, I've got um, you on the evil but, team as well. I my okay. evil team is Awell, Ellen, Blow George, and Daniel. Me. Um, uh, I mean, Rob George being evil works with Daniel's two ladies not working as well. If Lorinda was just assassinated. Hang on, did you yeah. say Daniel? You think yeah. I'm killing my assassin? In, uh, I guess they could come back, but um, I think it's we, well. We killed Daniel, well. Daniel during the day, right? right Daniel just oh, no, died. Daniel died. Oh, was Daniel died? Daniel was not Oh, okay. Okay, maybe Daniel's good. But I'm not well, we sure who the fourth evil is, so... Is it Daniel? Was Daniel the only death? Yeah. yeah. Did you gamble yourself, Abdu, last night, or someone alive? No, I've gambled someone alive. Okay. Um... Hmm. Dot, 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 dot. Who's the professor? I am. This is dead, yeah. yeah. I don't have a professor on my grim. I have gambled you as professor, Rob George as goon, George one as old sailor, um, Arwell as exorcist and died that day, but was chosen by the shab because I came back to life the next day. Yeah. And that is all the people. I had four picks. Okay. Yeah, not in that order, right? Uh, no, the order was you, Rob, George, um, Arwell, nothing, and then George won just now. Okay. I feel like... I, I, I trust George won quite a lot socially. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, think George won and Rob, George are both good. Ellen was... Yeah, is climbing and keeper, which fair, but was being very shady about what her role was until last night. She was like, okay, you can gamble me. As the innkeeper, and it felt, I yeah. I was just like super paranoid that it was a okay, yeah, you can go and kill yourself now, so that yeah. I can end up in a. Um... Sounds like she might also be claiming to have picked the goon on the night of no deaths, which does reduce her yes ability somewhat. Yes, she has. Um, I'm yeah. to charge to join. Uh, hello. You, I was actually you, uh, just uh, about to bend you guys back. As oh, also, oh, back. Um, I drank myself nights, night one, you? night four, night five. I drank others night two, night three, and last night. So there's been two nights in a row where I've picked um, Rob and someone else, and the someone else has died. So unless I'm sailor drunk, uh, that's probably just goon. Yeah, I I have turned back good, so that does make sense to me, but. Obviously, uh, I can still have been turned evil again because I'm old goon. In this yeah. Game. If you're genuinely the goon, Rob, I picked you last night, so that'd be where you turn you turned it good. So I've got two people saying they picked me last night, and I'm saying I've turned good, but that's you might not necessarily believe I stayed good. There's Who a you last night, Abjord. Huh? I, no, I didn't pick I, you. I think Ellen has said that they've picked me. Yeah. I've picked Rob but... the past two nights. <sighs> Nominations so, are open. Can we sleep? Can we sleep, no. sleep tonight? No, I mean, if no we, we definitely if, don't. If we have an old sailor, we can absolutely sleep. Yeah. The sailor can't be yeah. killed. Like, I, well, I, the I don't think we have an unspent yeah. assessment. Yeah, I don't That's think we have an unspent unlikely. assessment. I can't yeah. die. Uh, I can't die in the night either, right? Uh, <laughs> so. Is it possible that Abdu's the assassin that has been brought back to life? Yeah, I yeah. think that can mechanically work, yeah. I can't no. place an assassin kill, though. But from my perspective, Abdu can't be the demon. I don't think Rob can be the demon. Um, George just... That didn't feel like Shabaloth behavior on day one. Um, I'm also it's dead. Ellen. It's Ellen, though. No, so, sorry, George won. Oh, yeah. Um, so unless... There's more than one I, George I'm not in this accusing town? you of the Shabaloth. I believe you, George, too. Yeah, that's um, fine. So from my perspective, it just pretty much oh. has to be all well. I'll this nominate is... all well. What? 
Um, my evil world is reduced to him and Ellen mostly. I trust George One and Rob George. And I think the thing that most in my heart actually convinces me that Arwell is evil is when I went to him and told him that I died as the gambler, he did a really masterful display of being really, really confused. But it, like, just led to me as times when I've otherwise seen Arwell be like, oh, I'm, what? Oh, I just don't know. Like, the way he shifted felt like evil trying to uh, play a role very convincingly. And he did it well, but... Mm. So, I think Arwell's evil. Arwell? Oh, I'm so confused, though, because... <laughs> Ah, oh, this is clockwise. Which way, though, do you, do you add? The goon and the demon. It's just, it's just a bit on the mind, I mean, uh, the I think we should. Ex... Would have been true. I think we should thought. execute. We should execute probably George one to see if he actually <laughs> is the sailor. Then we get a final three. Thanks. Well, it takes three votes to put Arwell up for execution. Starting now. Um, maybe lean towards Ellen, but I think if Rob G is a goon, we can't lose unless the A worlds are a problem. Uh, Rob G should be the goon. Um, unless is. you dunked me. What what night did you? Um, wait, I picked him. Night two, night three, and last <laughs> night I dunked other people. I picked him night three. Okay. Uh, Rob, did you vote on me? Uh, yeah. If oh, there are no other nominations, the day will end. George in... One will nominate Alan. Why? Every living player apart from me voted on that, and a couple of dead votes as well. If we have a living DA, and we don't execute the demon today, we just lose. So, and based on just all the votes and nominations, I am very concerned about that world right now. My number one demon candidate... Candidate... It, currently my number one demon candidate is Alan. I think... If we don't go for this, we may lose. Alan? I think I mostly trust the dead votes that were spent there. Like, there are people that I don't trust as much, like Brockwell and Will, who didn't vote, whereas people like the Render, I do believe. Um, based on, actually have to believe basically because of the Professor Res and everything as well. Um, and I think in terms of, it wasn't all the living players because Arwell didn't vote obviously on himself. But the, um, yeah, I think there's definitely enough evil players around who didn't vote on me, but I think we've got it in a good place and this might just end the game. Well, it takes five votes to tie and six votes to put Ellen up for execution. Starting now. Two is not enough. Ellen's safe. And if there are no other nominations, the day will end in three. Um, I'll nominate Abdu. Why? E even if I am supposedly the shab. Oh yeah, I guess you've got to execute me. I was about to say it doesn't. But I think Abdu is evil. Came back to life. He did this masterful display of looking confused when I was confused. It was just like a mirror image. It was great. <laughs> I, I re I'm the exorcist. I can stop the demon killing. Let's kill someone else. Abdi? <laughs> oh, I love you, Arwell. Uh, I'm not evil. Thank you. All right. It takes five votes to tie and six votes to kill Abdi. Starting now. Amusingly, if... Rob, George, and myself are both good. I think it just makes life really, really difficult for... Closing the day. <laughs> and uh, it's why both our characters were changed. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I <can't understand. laughs> Old right. Sailor is very broken. Arwell is executed. And does not die. Good night. Oh, here oh, we go. God. <laughs> 
All right, so thankfully, mechanically, it doesn't actually matter that I forgot to wake up Arwell because either way, the evil team wins. So uh, yes, the as, as Gambling has explained in chat, yeah, it doesn't actually matter. I was not gonna resurrect Daniel at that point. Um, it's five and knowingly killing on five in a shab game basically just has that consequence. Uh, so essentially, we can run through the motions, but I think what I'm gonna do is just bring everyone back to life and say that the game is over. And uh, no, technically I do have to still do this. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it really fast. You or them? Hey, the same. Great, get out. I mean. <laughs> um, in the nicest way possible. <laughs> hey. Hello. Um, I don't have the guts to gamble anyone, so I'll just gamble myself as a gambler. Okay, bye. Thank you. Hey, Hello. Very sorry, I forgot to get your pick yesterday, but mechanically, I do not think it matters. Who do you want to pick today? Uh, Alan, please. Shocker. Okay, bye. Thanks. All right, there is that. And then let's just grab those kills from Ellen. And that should seal it. Hello. Hello. I'm just deciding what sensible thing I'd do as the innkeeper, and I'm not quite sure. Because it would obviously be protect Abdu, but I'm definitely killing Abdu. So, um, Great. yeah, I'm just going to have to be like, oh, I was either sailor. I oh, know. I'm just going to say I picked. I'm going to say that I picked Rob and Abdu again. Um, I will. I'm definitely killing Abdu. Okay. And I don't think I'll be able to kill George. This is so frustrating. Um, but I don't think, I think killing Rob will just make me look suspicious because I've very much been backing up that he is the goon and can't be killed. Um, so I think I'm, does it say I have, to, I have to pick two people? I have to choose, choose. So George two as well, the dead George. Okay. I'll go for Abdu and dead George. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I think <laughs> I like that she's still worrying about that because she just doesn't know that she's DA protected. Um, so yeah, that those both stay where they are. So Abdu's gonna die. Um, and I think I will just call a game there because at that point, uh, basically Ellen's protected tomorrow. So the following night she can just kill Arwell and Rob and then put the game down to a final two and win. So yeah, that's gonna be it uh and let's go give everyone a big congrats on a game well played like an unexplained death is there good morning everyone abdu died in the night and normally i would play this out but because of the time and because of the fact that the demon is in fact da protected i'm going to say that the game is over and the evil team is Aww. won it was a very, very close game and very well played by everyone here. Um, but I do have to congratulate our evil team, our Shabaloth, Ellen, uh, who, Abdu, you were Ooh. dead right that she said, you can grab me <laughs> because she wanted yes. you to die, um, <laughs> who was protected today by your DA, Arwell, who did lots of work protecting evil players, but not as much work saving people from execution as Hob, the good pacifist. Oh, of course. Good timing. Good timing. <sighs> Let's maybe refresh. <laughs> what are the odds? Come on, App. I believe in you. <laughs> this is the most exciting reveal of all. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, it's coming back slowly. We'll get there. This is, you know, just adding spice to the reveal, right? <laughs> That's how this works. <laughs> oh, good grief. Why is this happening to us? Um... Okay, there we go. We made it. We're back. <laughs> what an exciting reveal oh, for oh, everyone. Oh, back. <laughs> but we can't appear them. Oh, God. Okay. I believe. All right. I'm just going to refresh because I probably there's someone I probably can't hear. Oh, there we go. Jumps. Okay. No, chat could hear me. You guys couldn't because I think when I'm streaming, the app defaults to the settings that I use so that chat can hear me. We're back. What a fun, exciting, normal reveal where you all learned everything immediately <laughs> about how the game went. Uh, so, yes. Um, I don't know if who can see whose tokens right now, if anyone can see any of them or if it's just me. Can't see any of them. Great. Um, can I do a reveal from here? Let's see. 
Oh, um, so, yeah. it looks okay. like that works. All right, yes. we brought it back. Okay, what do we know? Ellen's the shag. Arl's the DA. Hob is the pacifist. Pacifist is a friggin' townsfolk, y'all. So Hob saved yeah. Abdu the gambler. Hob saved uh, Joraj the grandmother, who saw George to the professor. Um, I think those were the only saves that you had because then you started killing evil people. You killed Will the mastermind, who was sitting next to Daniel the tea lady. And then you had Lorinda the chambermaid, who died and then came back to life and then died. Um, Lorinda was drunk on the first night of the game when he picked Ellen the Shabaloth. Um, because he also picked Brojo. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get there eventually. I think the app just hates me right now. Um, but they they'll figure out what's happened. Really, this is just me versus the app trying to figure out how I'm gonna get to the TPI stream on time. <laughs> this is uh, yeah. I chose the goon, and now the server's drunk. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, we're gonna, I believe, I believe, come on, come on, <laughs> this is genuinely so funny. Well, at least I'll cash out the prediction right now, because we have time for that. And let's see if we can get back here. Is my settings? Nope, they're not. <laughs> Good grief, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> This is Jenny. Somebody in chat, though, this is like best joke of the night because I clicked on Brockwell and then it crashed. They said, You picked the goon. <laughs> yeah. This is Fantastic joke. Gooning. Yeah. Um, so I at least can cash out the prediction while I struggle to do this. I think for the sake of timing, I'm not going to bring it back to the screen and I'm just going to say. Brockwell was the goon. He was good for a while. He drugged Lorinda on the first night. And then he was picked first by Ellen after, notably, Ellen specifically said to me, I'm going to pick George too. Wait, no. I need to not pick the goon first. I'm going to pick Brockwell. I'm the most confident that he is not the goon. Uh, and, then, and then there were no deaths, uh, which was very, very funny. Um, meanwhile, uh, Rob George was not in fact the goon, but was the evil godfather who put the goon in play. Uh, George one, of course, was your old sailor who had an amazing play that was then totally thrown off the whirls. Uh, Alex the fourth was your lovely gossip who did correctly gossip that there was a demon in play, which would have confirmed him, but then he was immediately murdered by the Shabaloth. Uh, so that was deeply unfortunate for Alex. Um, although I did really love that he made that true gossip. Again, the next day, um, um, crucially, there was one night where uh, Abdu the Gambler had gambled uh, Arwell as the exorcist, and he did not die. And that is because that night he was drunk by the old sailor. So that was a very sneaky one. He then did die that night because he was picked by the Shabaloth. And then he came back to life because he was picked by the Shabaloth. Um, oh no, it was the night, sorry, it wasn't the night that you gambled. Oh, well, you did die that night to that gamble. It was the night that you gambled huh. Rob George as the goon. Yes, there we go. I was like, one of the nights that you gambled a minion, you were sailor drunk. And just for the sake, I, I am varied sometimes in my, like how serious I am with tokens. But in that case, I was like, I'm going to choose who is drunk to the sailor before you uh, make your pick. So that way I was like, I had already decided like you are drunk tonight and then you picked Rob. If you had like, I wouldn't have changed it retroactively just for the record. Uh, so yes, that was our game. And we have six minutes to spare before TPI. Hooray, we did it mostly. We're not playing the Yay. TPI game on whatever server this was on. We're trying a new one because that was an adventure in app shenanigans. Um, so yes, everyone can wave goodbye to, uh, to chat and I will see some of you over on the Pandemonium Institute in six minutes, which is just enough time to pee and change the stream. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Yay. Good game. Uh, yeah, Thanks, good everyone. game.